All right, folks. I have to re-record this video because I fucked up. Said some stupid shit that I shouldn't have. My notes are already crumpled up because I was already had them thrown away and I was going to upload the damn video and I realized that I said something stupid in the other vi video or the other take. So this is going to be take two. I'll be completely honest with you folks. I hate doing this, but I've done it before. So, um, I'm going to just try and blow through this as quickly as possible because it's damn near two in the morning. And I really don't want to waste any extra time on this shit. So this was your episode of Raw from fucking June 27th, 2016, Tampa, Florida. Didn't catch the name of the arena, but who cares? Show starts off with Seth Bitchface Rollins coming out to a pop. He talks about the triple threat match at Battleground. And he talks about Roman Reigns getting suspended, even though he says he's not supposed to. blah blah, blah. He brings up Roman's tweet talks about that bullshit. He says that he owned Roman at uh, the pay-per-view. He wants Roman taken out of the triple threat match so he can just have his one-on-one -on -one rematch with Ambrose. Ambrose comes out to a pop. He talks for a bit. AJ Styles comes out to a pop, which draws an AJ Styles chant from the crowd. AJ wants to take Roman's place in the title match which draws a yes, yes, yes chant from the crowd. Uh, Ambrose says, you know, I don't make the decisions around here, but I'm pretty sure Roman's still in the match. And so AJ says, well, fine, how about just add me to the match and it'll be a fatal four-way. Uh, John Cena comes out, surprising goddamn no one, coming out to a mixed reaction, and he throws his hat, or his name in the hat, saying, how about we make it a fatal five-way. Blah -de blah Rollins bitches a bunch, and out comes Stephanie McMahon. She's the only one here this week. So Shane, gone, and that makes me a sad panda. Uh, Steph hardly gets any fucking reaction. Of course she does. Stephanie hates Dean as champion, surprising no one. She announces the only way to settle this whole hoopla with the fucking title match is to have a couple of matches here tonight. Number one being Rollins versus Cena, and the other one being AJ versus Ambrose. If AJ and Cena win their respective matches, they get added to the title match. Moving on to the next part, we get hype for the highlight reel... Jericho's fucking highlight reel is back. His guests, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, they're going to talk about the feud and how it needs to end. We cut backstage to see Charlotte and Dana Brooke. And then we cut over to another backstage area and there's Sasha Banks and Paige. They have a tag team match against each other. That'll be next and they cut to a commercial break. Coming back from the commercial, Paige comes out to a small pop. The crowd was very subdued tonight. Um, don't know if that was due to the show being very lackluster, which it was, or if it was Kevin Dunn fucking with the audio levels. Don't know, don't care. After Paige comes out, we get a recap from last week of Sasha saving her from Charlotte and Dana Brooks. And then Sasha comes out to a small pop. And then Charlotte and Dana come out to no reaction. Commentators make mention of the Spanish announce table, which never comes up, so I don't know why the fuck they even did that. We get the match between Paige and Sasha Banks versus Charlotte and Dana. Match was okay. I'm just going to jump straight to the finish. Uh, Sasha locks the Banks statement in on Dana Brooke and gets the win. Small pop from the crowd. We get a recap from last week of the whole bullshit between Titus O'Neil and Rusev. And they those two have a match tonight, and that's going to be next, and they cut to a commercial break. 
Coming back from the break, Lana's hot ass is in the ring. She introduces Rusev, who comes out to the sound of crickets dropping pins. And they show a recap from Money in the Bank of Rusev trolling Titus's kids. Titus comes out to no fucking reaction as well. And Titus immediately jumps Rusev. The referee separates him long enough to start the match. Match goes on, and the match is shit. Titus ends up winning by count out after a spot on the floor where double clothesline, they hit, they hit the floor, and then Titus chucked Rusev over the barricade into the uh, timekeeper area, and then Rusev got counted out. So Titus wins by count out, making him look like a bitch, Titus makes Rusev look like a bitch too, but whatever. We get hype for Ambrose versus Styles later on, commercial break. Coming back from the break, we're backstage and there's Stephanie on her phone talking to somebody and she bumps into Kane again. And Kane's saying he wants another chance to be considered for the GM of SmackDown when it goes live. And in the background, you can see a limo pull up. And out of the limo steps The Miz and Maurice. And they make their way over to Stephanie. The Miz starts bitching about a bunch of shit, saying that he's a movie star. Kane mentions that he was in a movie here recently. Miz says that Kane looks like a bad insurance salesman, which is funny because Kane actually owns an insurance company. Uh... Kane, in a baffling fucking uh, uh, e example of continuity, brings up the 30-day no-compete rule for the titles that you would normally have to forfeit your title if you don't defend it every 30 days. Stephanie's like, hey, yeah. And she says, Miz, you've got a title match tonight, but I'm not going to tell you who your opponent is. Moving on. More hype for Cena versus Rollins later on, commercial break. Coming back from the break, Rollins comes out to a pop. The crowd starts booing because they know Cena's next. Cena comes out to a mixed reaction. He makes a couple of passive-aggressive bitch comments. Fuck you, Cena. I'm gonna move on. Match between Rollins and Cena is okay. Um, match ends after all three members of the club come out to distract Cena. And after the, di the distraction, Cena turns around, gets kicked in the stomach by Rollins, and Rollins hits a pedigree on him. One, two, three, Rollins wins. So John Cena is not added to the title match at Battleground. Thank God for that. Moving on. More hype for Ambrose versus AJ later on, and another commercial break. After the commercial break, Enzo and Cass come out to a pop, and they go through their spiel, and there's a couple of jobbers in the ring, and Enzo wants the crowd to do the wave. As soon as the bell rings, he wants the fucking, uh, the crowd to do the wave. So the match starts, and it lasts all of about 30 fucking seconds. Uh, Enzo and Cass basically just hit the rocket launcher on these two jabronis, and they get the win. And they say that these guys are soft. And then, for some reason, out come the social retards. They come out to no reaction. They say that they're hard. They try to charge the ring. Slater gets his head kicked in by Cass. The other two punk out, and Cass calls all three of them soft. Moving on. We get hyped for The Miz versus his mystery opponent for the Intercontinental title. We get hyped for Jericho's stupid fucking highlight reel. And they cut to a commercial break. Coming back from the commercial break, they do another goddamn Darren Young and Bob Backlund video, which is shit. Moving on, more hype for Ambrose versus AJ Styles, and they come. They cut to another commercial break. 
Coming back from this commercial break, Summer Rae's music is playing, and the commentators are talking, and Natalia is sitting at commentary. And they show a recap from Money in the Bank of Natalia beating up Becky Lynch. And they cut back, and the commentators are asking Natalia, why'd you do that? And Natalia quotes Owen Hart saying, enough is enough and it's time for a change. <sighs> Becky Lynch comes out to a pop. She's supposed to have a match against Summer Rae. Becky gets in the ring, takes off the coat that she usually wears for her entrance, throws it at uh, Summer, dives out of the ring, and goes immediately after Natalia and starts beating the crap out of Natalia. The two ladies have a pull-apart brawl, which is be uh, broken up by one single referee. And the match between Becky and Summer doesn't even happen. We get more hype for the highlight reel. That's going to be next, and they cut to another commercial break. Coming back from the break, Jericho comes out to no fucking reaction. He starts telling the crowd to be quiet. Even though they were already quiet as the grave. Anyways, Jericho introduces Kevin Owens, who comes out to a small pop. And then Jericho introduces Sami Zayn, who comes out to a pop. The crowd starts chanting Olay. Jericho stirs the pot between Sammy and Owens. And Sammy tells him to stuff it. I want a match at Battleground against Owens. He tells Owens to grow a set. Owens accepts the challenge for the match at Battleground. Jericho starts talking a bunch of shit about Sammy. And says he's going to give everybody the gift of Jericho. Drink it in, man. And then Jericho gets his head super kicked off his shoulders by both Sammy and Kevin Owens. Moving on. We get a recap of the opening segment of the show. Rollins, Ambrose, AJ, Cena, and Stephanie. And they also recap the match between Cena and Rollins with the interference of the club. We get more hype for The Miz versus his mystery opponent. That's next, and they cut to another commercial break. Coming back from the break, Miz comes out with Maurice to... such quiet that it was creepy his 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 lack of a reaction was so quiet it was creepy it really was and then who's uh mrs mystery opponent well of course it's demon kane pyro blows up on the stage and out he comes also getting no reaction and Lillian Garcia gives the big title match introductions. We get the match between these two. There's nothing really of note other than Kane was beating the crap out of The Miz. And Maurice jumps up on the apron to distract Kane. Kane just kind of growls at her, tells her to get off the fucking apron. She falls down, hits the apron, bounces off, and hits the floor. And the Miz was able to use the distraction to kind of get the upper hand on Kane, but Miz gets out of the ring to check on Maurice, and he's like, oh my god, are you hurt, are you hurt? He picks her up and starts carrying her towards the back, and he gets himself counted out. So Kane wins the match by count out, but the Miz keeps the title. They give us hype for a completely, up until now, match that no one had talked about. They just announce it now. Cesaro and Apollo Crews versus Sheamus and Alberto Del Rio. And that match is supposed to be next. And they cut to another commercial break. Coming back from the break, 
The Miz is still helping Maurice backstage. He's like got his arm over her or her arm over his neck and he's helping her. She's like limping. He's like, keep your weight off of it, you know. Maurice starts laughing. And of course, why? Well, of course, because she was faking it. I was just acting, bro. And he's like, oh my God, that was Oscar worthy. Anyways, cutting back to the um, to the arena, Cesaro comes out to a small pop, and Apollo Crews comes out to barely any reaction. We get a recap from SmackDown, where Crews had his head brogue kicked into the steel ring steps, which had been set up vertically, and Sheamus brogue kicked him from behind into the steps. Sheamus comes out to no reaction, and Del Rio comes out to no reaction, and we get this crappy match between these two fucking thrown-together teams. All that happens is Del Rio and Sheamus don't really get along. Del Rio ends up betraying Sheamus, tagging him in, and then Enziguri kicking him in the head, doing his little rope-springing Enziguri kick. So Sheamus is on the floor... And Apollo Crews was already out on the floor because Del Rio had chucked him out of the fucking ring like a piece of trash. They're both on the outside of the ring. Del Rio tags in Sheamus and then kicks him in the fucking head. And Del Rio fucking leaves. And Apollo Crews ends up drop kicking the steel ring steps into Sheamus. Gets him back in the ring. Crews hits his spin out, sit out power bomb. Gets the one, two, three. So Cesaro and Cruz win. Who cares? We cut backstage to the interview area. There's JoJo. And she's interviewing Ambrose. Ambrose is cutting a, cutting a good promo when Stephanie comes up to ruin everything. She says, I don't like you as champion. I don't think you're a very good representative of the company. Yada, yada, yada. I fucking hate this bitch. Commercial break. Moving on. Coming back from the break, they announce... Miz TV is going to be on SmackDown this coming Tuesday, Thursday, whatever. And Miz's guest is going to be Dean Ambrose. Then they do the cutaway gag, like they're going to the Wyatts. But when they cut to the Titantron, it's actually the three members of the New Day dressed up as the Wyatts. Complete with... Kofi wearing the trash collector jumpsuit that Rowan wears. And he has on the sheep mask with one of the unicorn horn dildos sticking out of the forehead. They come out to a small pop and they talk about the Wyatts. And Big E chucks a bunch of their unicorn horn dildos into the crowd. And one of them asks, have you smelled the Wyatts lately? And I'm like, no, because I've smelled pig shit before and I don't want any more of that. Kofi and Big E are really the only ones talking. And they're like, we, uh, I, th I think Woods went to say something, maybe we should chill out, you know, because I don't really want to mess with the Wyatts. And Kofi and Biggie are like, nah, man, this is a roast. We roasting these motherfuckers, you know? Cutaway gag. And out come the real Wyatts. And Bray runs his mouth. And the crowd starts chanting, New Day rocks. Oh. I can actually mention this. Uh... Bray was talking about, you know, the, the New Day's whole thing is this power of positivity. And Bray's saying that that's not real because the world doesn't work that way. You know, being positive doesn't help people. You know, it doesn't help the guy who just lost his job. It doesn't help him find a new job. It doesn't help him put food on the table for his starving children. You know, shit like that. But he's going on and on about this. Kofi and Big E kind of fire back at him. And then Bray's like, yeah, whatever. But what does Xavier think? What do you think, Woods? 
Woods is really shook up again. Like, it really looks like Woods is about to turn on the New Day. And I'm hoping so, because it's getting old, this gimmick. Bray ends with a New Day Falls, and they do the cutaway gag again. We cut backstage to see the three members of the club talking and can't see what they're talking about. It's just hype for the match between AJ and Dean is up next. And we cut to a commercial break. Coming back from the break, we're backstage again, and there's the three members of the New Day. Up comes Renee Young, who asks him whatever the fuck. Kofi and Big E do the talking, and Xavier Woods just kind of walks off. And Kofi and Big E are like, hey man, where are you going? And they follow him off, and that's it. Back in the arena, Ambrose comes out to a pop, and then Rollins, they show that Seth Rollins is on commentary. And then out comes AJ Styles to a pop. And we get the match between these two. And once again, just jumping straight to the finish, uh, everybody and their brother gets involved in this fucking match. Uh, first, it's the other two members of the club, and out comes Cena to fight the two of them off. And after Cena distracts AJ, AJ turns around, eats the dirty deeds from Ambrose, and Ambrose picks up the win. So AJ will also not be joining the title match, obviously. I don't know why in the fuck they did this. I guess they figured they just needed something to fill time. Because with Roman being suspended, we can't have him on the show. Not like anybody's going to miss him. Crowd pops because Ambrose won. After the match, Rollins is happy on commentary because he didn't want anybody else added to the title match, obviously. The club starts beating up Cena. And then Rollins jumps off of commentary, slides into the ring, hits a pedigree on Ambrose. The club is still beating up Cena. They're on the stage now. Gallows and Anderson hit the magic killer on Cena on the stage. Cutting back to the ring, Rollins hits another pedigree on Ambrose. And then grabs the title belt, stands on Ambrose's head and holds up the belt to what could best be described as a mixed reaction from the crowd. That's the end of the show. So, yeah. I'm sorry that the show is not as long as it usually is, although that's probably a godsend, honestly. Um, like I said, my first take of this, I was already in the middle of fucking... Uh, uploading it, and I realized that I said some stupid shit that I shouldn't have said. So, had to reshoot it. We're good now. Hopefully, this shorter uh, format for the show is a little bit better, because honestly, Raw fucking sucks. Ambrose might be champion, but he's not changing anything. The company sucks no matter what. As I usually do, let me go back over the matches. Also because there was something I wanted to say that I completely forgot about. And it's immediate because it has to do with the first match. Paige and Sasha Banks defeating Charlotte and Dana Brooke. Okay match. Sasha gets the win over Dana with the Banks statement. I don't buy this whole thing with Sasha Banks. I don't... She's a good wrestler, she's cute, but I just don't buy this boss bitch gimmick that she has. It doesn't work as a face, and I just don't buy it no matter what. You know, I, I'm going to put it like this. Sasha has what I like to call Ariana Grande syndrome. She's a little girl in her mom's clothes and makeup acting like a boss bitch. I just don't buy this act from her. And I got the whole Ariana Grande syndrome thing from uh, Todd in the Shadows. 
I give credit to people. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look up Todd's video talking about Ariana Grande's song, Bang Bang. I give credit to people. So there was that match. Titus beats Rusev by countout. Shit match. Rollins defeats Cena in an okay match. Enzo and Cass job out a couple of jobbers. The match was what the fuck. I just don't even get it. Uh, they teased a match between Summer and Becky Lynch that never happened. Oh well. Summer's a shit wrestler anyways. Demon Kane defeats The Miz by countout. So The Miz gets to keep his Intercontinental title. Cesaro and Apollo Crews defeat Sheamus and Alberto Del Rio in a crap match. And then in the main event, Dean Ambrose defeats AJ Styles. In the best match of the night, it was good. Um, everybody and their brother had to get fucking involved, though. And a whole bunch of bullshit at the end to just kill the crowd. Really, really bad. That was your episode of Raw from June 27, 2016 in Tampa, Florida. Thank you for watching. Sorry the video's so short. Like I said, some shit came up in the first vi version of the video. I, I couldn't upload it, so sorry. This is going to be uploaded later than usual, obviously. I'm going to upload it as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Join us next time for SmackDown. Spoilers. We'll see you next time for that, so good night.